Hi, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Cynthia. I am the founder and the creator of Crowns of Glory Collections. So today, what we're going to discuss is how to get a natural and flawless hairline, okay? I'm going to show you how to get your hairline like this, okay? Now, this wig that I have on today, it is glueless. It has um, an adhesive-free, meaning no adhesive at all. Got to be glue, gel, wig glue, wig tape, anything like that. Um, so that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So let's just jump right on into it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do now, I've already um, flattened down my part, so I've already put my part in all the way back, flatten everything down really nicely. And the way that I do that, guys, I use heat, okay? This is um, very, very important when you want to do a natural, flawless hairline and you don't want to use any kind of gel or you don't want to actually do, you know, the swoop, baby hairs or anything like that. It's nothing against that. It looks good. Just on me, because I take my wig off and on every single day, that's something that I just didn't like for myself. However, um, you know, you have to know what your client want and also know how to do it. But, and I do, but typically on for my wigs, I don't like it, okay? So, again, I've already applied heat and the product that I'm using today, guys, I'm using um, the Jane Carter Solution and this is the Nourish and Shine Restorative Butter. So, I use that. Um, another thing that I like to use um, is the Ghost Oil as well to give it that shine and I use mousse. So I guess if I say, do I have a secret weapon? It will be this. Um, I learned about this from someone else that I took a class with and she talked about this. And typically I use Nairobi, Nairobi um, setting foam. But when she talked about this, I'm like, let's give it a try, you know? And I did. I got it from my local beauty supply store. I think it was maybe $5.99, $6.99, something like that. So I grabbed that. I've had it for a while because you only need a very small amount to do what we're going to do today. So, and another thing that you want to make sure that you have a rack tail comb as such. Um... And also, you want to get your edge brush as well. This has seen better days. But anywho, so those are the things you're really going to want to get your hands on before we get started, okay? So what we're going to do is start molding everything down. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to pull out some hairs, just random I'm not going to go, like, get all the hairs out. And if you like sideburns like I do, go ahead and take those out right now. Just go ahead and, and pull those on out. That's a little bit too much hair that I just pulled out. Make sure you have all those hairs pulled out because sometimes they get caught up under the wig. All right, comb that on down and go over. Hairs out, just like this, guys. I'm going to take my mousse, my mousse, just a little bit. Just 
just like that. So not a lot at all. Now I'm gonna cut these um, hairs down just a tad, just a little bit. I've already cut them some. Go in and get a little bit more. And this mousse, I actually put it up here to kind of smooth everything down because you want everything to look really flat. When you do your edges, do you usually do it after you curl your hair or before? I don't know if it's just, you know, it's not a right or wrong thing, but I typically do mine before I hot curl my. I talked to you about the supplies that I'm gonna use today. I failed to show you my razor. It's like a, just an eyebrow razor that I got from my um, beauty supply store, local beauty supply store. So it's nothing great or grand about it um super sharp so when you take it out of the package you don't want to use it like a um cardboard and you just kind of slice it until you dull the blade some so you don't want it super sharp so that's what i've already done with this one and i'm just gonna go in again i'm not going to cut it down all the way and sometimes I do, but with this illustration, I'm not going to do that, okay? So I'm going to go here. And also, if you see how I'm angled, the razor. So you're going to do like that. So you're just going to take your time and glide the razor across the hairs. And you could tell that this is really dull because when it's sharp, so I'm just going around. Remember guys, the, the thing to remember is you're trying to create an illusion. That's all it is. That's, I mean, if you know anything about wigs, you want, you know, if you have on a wig, if, well, if you're anything like me, people know I wear wigs, people know I make wigs, but I don't want it to look like a wig. You know, I've heard people say, I don't want it to look wiggy. That means that everybody knows in a race. Okay. So now I'm going to take my butter just a little bit. Not a whole lot. And it's really thick. If you can see, it's, it's, it's um, really have a greasy texture to it. Heat, 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 heat is very important. So what I do was, what I do, I take my hot curler and I just press into it. So, I mean, I put some oomph into it and kind of go around like that. That's what I do. Now, if you're lace, if you have HD lace, you need to make sure that your, you know, curl line is not really hot because if you have very thin HD lace, you will burn it. You will destroy it. So I'm warning, warning, warning. Don't do that, okay? Don't do that. And here, same way. That's that's what I did after I put my oil. And I'm not going to put any more oil and stuff because I don't want it to look greasy. Or anything I take my curling iron and I just go into it okay make everything nice and smooth and that's also going to give you the illusion that it's growing out your scalp because you have smoothed down the root around here that give you that illusion as well okay so the reason why you came today Let's just come on into it. So I'm gonna get you to come up a little closer because I want you to see exactly what I'm doing, okay? 
So what I do is with my index finger, I kind of hold it down. I take these hairs. That's too much. I take my, my hairs and I swoop it going back into my wig. Okay? That's what I do. And again, you don't want to have just really a pattern, you know, per se. Because you want this to be natural. So I get my comb and I pull down, I pull back on the hairs. You see? Then I take my curling iron and I smooth it around. I smooth it because this is going to train your hair to lay down. And if you do it this way, every time you put on your wig, you're not going to have to do it because you're training your hair. Now, I don't know how often you wear your wig or anything like that, but if you don't, you wear it a couple of times a week, you, you should go, you know, a while before you have to put some more heat on it. Let it go back. It's like that. And also, sometimes I take this as well just to make sure everything is smoothed down the way that I like it. Take my comb, slide it back in there. And you go back into it with that heat. Yeah, sometimes I even, you know, make sure that I'm holding it down really good. Make sure you don't burn yourself, but just kind of. And then I go do the same thing. Take that, and you're going to bring that hair back into your, your wig, into your unit. Again, so put your comb right there. You're going to take your hot curler and you're going to press into it. Now, honestly, this took me the longest time to try to get this down. But I was determined. I was determined to learn how to do this. The wig that I currently have on, if you go back and look at the uh, couple videos before this one i think it's probably like four or five different videos and i'm showing you how i made a natural hairline um that's this is the wig that i was working on okay so this is actually the wig and i think it turned out pretty good if i have to say so myself but <clears throat> Get that hair here. Let me take this pin off because I don't want to melt it down. Take that finger. So you really need to use that index finger and that thumb to kind of hold it down until you get that comb in there. And you take that. Now, some people, they like to use the hot comb. And that's what, you know, sometimes I use it, um, but I found that, I don't know why, but this seems to just work better for me. I guess because I'm able to really put some weight down and smooth it down a little bit better. I don't know. 
So if you see there, okay? So with this, um, your sideburns, and some people like sideburns. I personally do because also it's another way to camouflage over your ear. You want it to lay down, okay? That's what you want it to do. So that's why I typically like the sideburns. Again, it's an illusion. And I specialize in um, adhesive-free. I, I like to say adhesive-free instead of glueless um, because, again, people kind of throw away, throw around that term very loosely. And um, but I want to be clear: no adhesive, okay? No adhesive whatsoever. No gel, nothing. So when people say glueless, that means that they don't have to use actual wig glue, but typically they're using some kind of gel or spray or something else to kind of hold it down. And I've used, um, when I first started, I was using got to be glue. I, well, actually I used wig glue as well, but then I decided you know, because I'm trying to save my, my little edges. I said, well, let me just do the gap to be glue. But it still didn't give me the look that I want. And if you have any questions or comments, please drop those comments down in the comment section. Um, and also follow me on Instagram, Crowns of Glory Collections, okay? So I'm gonna go here, do the same thing. I'm gonna come over on this side so my arm won't be in the way. So I'm gonna swoop it up. Still using that index finger and you're gonna swoop it up just like that, okay? I'm gonna take my heat and I'm gonna press it in. Being over on this side is very weird. Okay. Hot curl is going to do the same thing. You just want it to be hot. Okay, I'm gonna swoop that back in, take my cone, slide it up right there, get my hot, that heat, that heat is going to train it. That's the part that's going to actually mold this down. Put some more heat on it. Okay, now I'm going to go on this side. And, oops. Get your comb. Secure that down. Take your heat, press into it, press into it. And you wanna bring that heat on around. So you're gonna take that heat and you want to, man, I'm right-handed too, guys. So this is really 
awkward. And also, let me be very clear. When I do this, I have mowed this down. When I put my wig on, I pull this, you know, back because it's mowed down to, to my, you know, back into the unit to flatten it down, to mold it back. So when I put it on, some of the hairs are just, are going to fall like that. Sometimes I get my, my comb and I kind of like still kind of, comb it on into the unit because I don't want it to like I said I, I don't typically like just baby hairs now when it comes down to here if you want to cut your hairs off just a little bit more you can it kind of like make some of those hairs just kind of fall like that which is you're just going to make it look okay guys so that's it. You have learned a lot. This is how I train my baby hairs into a natural, flawless hairline, okay? So again, do not forget to hit the subscribe button, button down there and also hit the like and share it to other people as well. For this, so don't keep the information. I always tell, um, my royal nation to share the information share the information don't just hold it but so hopefully you have learned how to do that look at that everything just so nice and flat so again my name is cynthia with crowns of glory collection till next time have a great day and be blessed and always remember Wear your crown with confidence. Talk to you soon.